Catch My Vibe Radio event coordinator, Carrie Whitaker. Hello. Hi, Carrie. Hi. Welcome to the show. Thank you. How are you? I'm great. How are, how are you doing today? I'm very, very excited to be here today. Absolutely excited awesome. to be here. I'm catching your vibe. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> it's always a vibe when I'm around. Trust me. It's a vibe. <laughs> it's a, it is a vibe. So Catch My Vibe Radio, uh, what is it? So Catch My Vibe Radio, we're, we are a radio station. Um, however, we're much bigger than that. We do a ton of broadcasting. We have a few podcasts that we actually, um, I do a live podcast myself there. Uh, but we record a couple different podcasts. We also have some college NIL players um, that we have contracts with. So we're big about promoting and getting these players recognized out in the community. Um, we do a lot of different competition type events. Uh, it's just part of where our heart is in the industry. There's a lot of great talent in the city. Um, we also do photography, um, so we have needs for that. We have a studio engineer. Uh, that's another big part of Catch My Vibe Radio. So if anybody's looking for production or any kind of recording studio time, if you're an artist, any type of musical artist, we have an engineer in studio quite often, and you definitely can reach out to us to get in the studio with us. Where are you located? So we're located at 302 West Prospect Street. For anybody that's familiar with the area, we are right next to Brass Rail. Um, so if you're facing the building, we're to the right-hand side of that building right there on West Prospect Street. Got it. I met um, some of your uh, owners at the uh, Martin Luther King Quarter Improvement Authority uh, meeting where you were one of the grantees. Mm -hmm so that you can uh, make some investments in your uh, studios. Absolutely, yeah, we're super excited. Um, so yeah, we were granted um, a portion of that grant that uh, the MLK Corridor Authority um, offered out to community businesses. Uh, we are super excited to be selected for that. Uh, we have lots of plans coming. Um, we do have improvements coming to the studio, but above and beyond that, we really just wanna keep pushing the motion forward in the community. Uh, stay visible, let people know who we are, uh, build the trust with the community is the biggest thing, especially as a newer business. We're in about year two, heading into year three. Uh, year one was pretty quiet for Catch My Vibe Radio as we were behind the scenes figuring out logistics and, and all the things that go along with broadcasting as you guys here at JTV know there's a lot that goes into it. Um, year two we came out pretty strong, we've done a lot of events this year. Um, we, we did a Mother's Day and a Father's Day kids event. Uh, Last Thanksgiving, we're in the community giving out free food. So we're just trying to stay visible and just continue to grow. And for now, people can listen to you on online? Yep. So if you visit us at our website, cmvrespectfully.com, uh, you can find our um, all of our information there, but also music there, uh, all of our events, all the information about our NIL players, and tons of information on our website, absolutely. Do you have some uh, NIA, NIL athletes in Jackson? Oh, uh, we do. Um, there's only one that I even really... <laughs> I don't know all of their names. I'm a little bit distant from that because I'm the events coordinator, but we do have one um, young man. He goes by the name of Ja. He actually plays for the Jackson Battle Hawks. I don't know if you guys are familiar. I'm sure some of the community is, but he actually does play for the Jackson Battle Hawks. Um, he is one of our NIL deals and he's an awesome young man. He's about 21 years old. Um, great athlete and super excited to be a part of it. So if you guys haven't seen the Battle Hawks, they really went hard this year and they're in the conference finals. So super excited to you know, have a player that's over on that team and, and really in the community. Nice. Well, today we wanted to talk about one of your events coming up. It's a sidewalk chalk competition. Yes. Oh, I hope it's a day like today. Me too. <laughs> I hope it's not 95 that Saturday. Yeah. <laughs> so what, what's, what's going to happen? How's it work? So what we have done is put together a sidewalk chalk art competition. Um, we've partnered with 21 Blooms Tattoo Studio and Emily Radke, the owner there. Uh, this is a newer tattoo studio in, in the city of Jackson. They're located at 3200 Wildwood Avenue. Uh, we've partnered with them for a couple different reasons. They're very, um, very artsy people. Obviously, they're tattoo artists, but they're very uh, in tune with being a part of the community and wanting to be um, part of having kids involved. Our goal, right, as a community type business, we really want to involve the kids, but more so, the art in this community is just tremendous. It's across from uh, Mancino's Absolutely. by the airport. Yes, it is. Um, just a quick warning, I did get the heads up today that that is first Saturday of the month. So anybody that is there, uh, we will get that loud tornado alarm at 12 o'clock, uh, right when the event's kicking off at noon. Um, so it's quite loud. Uh, just a little pre-warning for anybody that's coming. You might. I think it. you can use that to your advantage. I know. Event yeah. starts now. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah. So we'll have. So we have different age groups. It starts from toddler all the way up to adult. 
Uh, we have six categories just to ensure that it's fair competition. You don't have to be a professional artist. I just want to keep people in the loop about this. This is more for fun, but it is a competitive competition. It's free to enter. Um, so each category will have their certain size squares, and they will all have from noon to four that day to chalk art their, comp their competition piece. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, there are professionals that do it, and I've Absolutely. seen some pretty amazing work. Uh, Lifelike with chalk. Oh, yeah. That uh, 3D art is something different. I hope somebody brings that out that yeah. day, because there's some people that can really do it. They do. It uh, looks like there's a hole you're going to step yeah. in. <laughs> yeah. All right, you've got some sponsors uh, and some uh, other things going on on that day. Yep, so we got some sponsorship opportunities out here. Uh, we're still looking for some sponsorships, but I want to quickly give a shout out to the sponsors that have already uh, come on board with us, which is Diamond Tax and Accounting, um, Jackson Battlehawks Football, and then also Village Concessions and Event Rental Services. Uh, they all have reached out to us and have um, become sponsors for this event. It's people like those businesses that'll help us continue to grow this. But if you're looking or wanting to help in any type of way, our sponsorship pack just started at $75 up to $500 for all the kit and caboodle to come with it. Mm -hmm. um, or even if you just want to donate your time, uh, we're going to need time that day to chalk out the spaces for everyone. Uh, so if anybody's available to be there, I'll be there about nine o'clock that Saturday morning chalking out the spaces and um, or if you want to donate chalk back or anything you can do to help, just reach out to me. I'm, I'm definitely open to any type of help I can get. Should people bring their own chalk? So no, the chalk has all been provided. Um, we That was part of the, some of the sponsorship. So yeah. all the chalk has been covered. Uh, I'm pretty certain we have enough, but just want to go a little mm -hmm. overboard just in case. You just never know um, mm -hmm. when you have events, how many people will truly show up. So we want to be prepared for every scenario. Um, they have it. I did a lot of purchasing right at the dollar store. They were $5 a bucket for, I think, 150 or 100 pieces. It was a pretty good deal. Mm -hmm. um, I think we got about 15 to 20 buckets of chalk right now. So Sounds like fun. Absolutely. So you've got a lot of other events. I was looking at your uh, Facebook. You've got like these competitions. Yes. Yeah, wh yes. What do you guys do besides chalk competition? <laughs> so um, the chalk competition really came from my artsy side. I have a lot of art love in my side, but um, obviously with the radio station, we're very involved with music and, and our hearts are really kind of set in allowing these artists that are very local to expand and expand and get their, um, their artistry out here. So one of the things that we have upcoming, this is called the Put Up or Shut Up Battle Rap Competition, you guys. It's coming up September 14th right here in Jackson. Uh, we're super excited about this event. Uh, we have right now some very heated battles. Uh, these are clean events. Um, they do go pretty tough with each other because mm. it is a battle rap competition, but we're going to have one of the legendary URL battle rappers in the building with us. His name is Calico. Uh, he's pretty big and legendary in the, in the rap battle uh, world, and we're super excited to be bringing him to Jackson with us. So uh, we like to do battle competitions. We like people to, to um, compete in a uh, healthy setting. Um, we want people to be able to show what they have, but we want to make it a safe environment for them to do so. All right. Well, there's that and a lot more. And you can find it all at cmvrespectfully.com, including all the details on uh, the Sidewalk Chalk Art Competition a uh, week from... A week from this Saturday week from already. This Saturday. Yes, wow. it, came, it was like I felt like I had a ton of time and then all of a sudden it's, it's you know, nine days away. So. I know. I can't believe it. It's <laughs> almost August. Yeah. Well, great. I hope it's an awesome event, and uh, good luck to you and your uh, fellow radio people at uh, CMV Radio. Thank you so much. We appreciate it, Bart, for having us on the show. We appreciate everything you guys do here at JTV. You bet. Thanks, Carrie. Carrie Whitaker, events coordinator at Catch My Vibe Radio. Well, that's it. We're all out of time. Thanks to Carrie and everyone joining us here today. Uh, we've got so much going on uh, this weekend. I hope you get out and Enjoy everything that's lined up for you and then come back and be with us on Monday when we have the new athletic director at Western High, Tyler Ridgeway, Joe and Emily Verbecki from Foundry Bakehouse and Superior Street Mercantile in Albion, and Sue Stevens from the Relay for Life all 